What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Great news in the sport of boxing. The long-anticipated, long-awaited fight between Miguel Cotto and Saul Canelo Alvarez is signed, sealed, delivered, and we're getting it November 21st, Mandalay Bay, Las Vegas, pay-per-view. It will be on HBO, and I'm highly looking forward to this fight. Now, I did a video yesterday, The Rundown. Make sure you check out that video, and I told you the announcement was coming. Two weeks ago, I told you the announcement was coming. I had talked to some people, and some of you guys, oh, you didn't talk to any sources. You don't have any sources yet. While everybody else was saying the MGM was going to take place in New York, I told you November 21st, Mandalay Bay. So I'm not going to gloat too much. The biggest thing is the fight is happening. Now, some of you guys don't remember this. This fight was supposed to take place two other times, but both of those times, Miguel Cotto, for whatever reason, opted to not fight Canelo. And I'm not saying he didn't have any reason. One time was to set history by becoming the first ever Puerto Rican to win titles in four different divisions. And that was by facing Sergio Martinez, who at the time was lineal middleweight champion. And he did that. He set history. This fight will take place, as far as I know, at 155. Again, HBO pay-per-view, Mandalay Bay. And this is just great for boxing. I told you guys early on, this was going to be a phenomenal year. We got Mayweather Pacquiao and some people condemned the fight. I didn't think the fight was that bad. I, I was, I was, if anything, happy just to see two of this generation's best in the ring and to shut all the critics up and finally see an outcome. You know what I mean? So even if you didn't like the fight, at least we got an outcome. That's what I like about it. You know what I'm saying? But I actually didn't even have a problem with the action. But on top of that, you got Triple G versus Lemieux. Andre Ward made a return. Broner Porter. PBC got launched. You got some good fights there. Hopefully the welterweight guys mix it up. You got Keith Thurman's and Kel Brooks, Amir Khan's, Sean Porter's, those guys. A lot of good stuff in boxing, man. I know sometimes we focus on the negative, but with stuff like Canelo Cotto, I mean, I don't have much to complain about at the moment. You know what I mean? I'm still going to make videos and occasionally rant about different things, but this is big. This is what boxing needs. I mean, we're getting a certified, out of all the fights, Mayweather, Birdo, Triple G, Lemieux, Canelo Cotto is the only one other than Mayweather Pacquiao, but I'm talking about upcoming fights. I think Canelo Cotto is the only one that, without a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt, unequivocally, needs to be pay-per-view. Like, it wouldn't even make sense to put this on regular HBO. Both guys have a great fan base. Canelo's a rock star. Cotto's been in the game for a long time. Great slept on resume. This is all good for boxing. Let me know your fight predictions. I will continue to break this fight down. Miguel Cotto has won his last three fights all by KO. He fought Delvin Rodriguez, Sergio Martinez, Daniel Gill stopped them all. Canelo, since the Mayweather loss, he stopped Angulo. He had a controversial win over Edislandi Laura. And then after that, most recently, in my opinion, one of the KOs of this year when he stretched James Kirkland and spun him around. In, in an exciting fight. So both guys have some steam. This is a great fight. Looking forward to it. And it really helps to elevate the sport of boxing. We needed another big event. And this is that. This should be a good action fight. Good weigh-in. I'm really liking the whole energy and, and the feel from the crowd, from the fans, you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like my video. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.